the premise of the whole thing was to say, uh, can we use a battery train to replace the diesel service? That was the remit right from the off. You got three and a half minutes to charge a train going to Greenford. Go make it happen. The fast charging system that we have on this train was uh, specially developed to be super safe, cheap, simple, and also um, not specific to the train we're on. You've got diesels on the Great Western Network that are getting very old, um, they're costing more and more to maintain. I think what's, what's important is when you, when you are looking at these sort of cost comparisons, they relate to more to just the access, the sheer mechanics of um, getting the ability to move in and install this stuff and it's quite disruptive. This stuff is only at one end. You, you don't really need to disrupt the service very much and it's very safe. And, and you, you can literally pick the things up. We've looked at every corner of the operating envelope, if you like. So we've done it in hot weather, like similar to what we've got today. Uh, we've done it in the pouring rain and through the winter. We've got the full 12 months, but we've specifically checked that our charging system is tolerant of things like leaf fall. We've deliberately layered up the leaves and made sure that they do get trapped and stuck and see what happens. So when we talk about, oh, what, what happens when you put all the passengers on? Actually, it's not that much. We've had it with 230 people on, I think it's of that, of that order. And, and we've had it with no people on. And we had it in between, we had 100 people on, we've moved the weight around, we've done all that sort of stuff. And we know what the effect is. It's just confidence. It gives you confidence when you test all these things and have loads of data behind you. It's a key question for any, anything that sort of claims environmental benefit this is clear, it's a zero emissions vehicle. As, as soon as you replace the diesel, within about just over a year, certainly by two years, you're already in a better place. In terms of air quality, we've measured it local to the platform and again, we, we see NO2 spikes there when the, when the diesel comes in. And likewise, noise, the battery train was about 63, which I think equates to around sort of conversational level like we're having now. When the diesel went, that was around 93, which I think my benchmark said was somewhere between a hairdryer and a helicopter. You don't have to raise your voice when one of these things is going in and out. That's the bottom line. This train and the charging system and the batteries are, they, they've been bulletproof and it's got so much capability. We've switched off things, we've shut things down, we run routinely with things not working and it just carries on. And that really helps us get some energy behind the move from a diesel train to battery trains. So that means we can do it sooner rather than later.